World Food Day, a path to zero hunger. Are you curious about how to celebrate World Food Day? Here are some ideas to consider. 1. Learn about food issues. Read articles or watch videos about world hunger. Share what you learn with others. The more people know, the more they can help. 2. Donate or volunteer. Many people struggle to pay for food. Donating to a food bank or volunteering at a local soup kitchen are ways to help as many people as possible. 3. Visit farms or local food producers. Visiting a farm or local market can be an educational experience. You can learn how food gets from farm to fork and see how much effort goes into making food. 4. Attend World Food Day events. Look for local events such as exhibitions or hunger marches. Joining these events shows you care about food issues. By trying these activities, you can be a part of the solution. After all, every small action brings us closer to a world without hunger. Hello, everyone. Welcome to English for You. I'm Mike. I'm Nikki. And we're back with our second day looking at World Food Day. We want to try to end hunger all around the world, make sure that people who、uh, weren't born in lucky places like us, you know,、mm -hmm. rich countries like us, make sure people in places where getting access to clean, healthy food is much more difficult, making sure that they have help, maybe not from their local government, who might not be able to help them, but from the world through the United Nations, making sure. Mm -hmm. That those types of people can get access to food just like we can. You should not be punished in this kind of way just because you weren't born in a certain part of the world. So let's get back to our article about World Food Day A Path to Zero Hunger. The first sentence for today says, Are you curious about how to celebrate World Food Day? We know it's on October 16th,、mm -hmm. but we don't know much more than that about it. So yeah, let's actually get into what events or what things are happening on that day. Day organized by the United Nations through the Food and Agriculture Organization, the FAO. Here are some ideas to consider, the article says. So, here are some things to think about, some choices or options you might have about how to celebrate World Food Day yourself. 那延续昨天我们谈到有关世界粮食日的主题，今天我们要来看看究竟世界粮食日可以怎么庆祝。Okay. Well, often before we can do something about an issue or a problem, we have to learn about that issue or problem, and then we know the right things to do. So it says, learn about food issues. Yeah. Before you fix、mm. the problem, you have to understand the problem. Otherwise, you're just kind of hoping to be lucky with what you do. So learn about the issues. Learn about the problems, the challenges, the difficult things that people are trying to fix and improve. And how can you do that? Well, edge. Education. Read articles or watch videos about world hunger. You can find lots of these in many places. You can read newspapers and magazines about problems that are happening now, or you can read articles and find videos on the internet that explains the bigger problem from the world point of view. So read these articles, watch these videos, learn about world hunger, what the challenges, issues, and real difficult problems are. Share what you learn with others, and then educate other people by sharing what. You learn; they will know more. The more people know, the more they can help. Absolutely true. And yes, there are probably lots of articles out there, even every day in many newspapers or places, and then other articles that are true as well and give lots of important and useful facts. An article is basically a piece of writing about a particular subject, and it will appear in a newspaper or a magazine or on a website. This is usually nonfiction stuff, so we're not talking about a short story or something like that. We're talking about information. So we often think of newspaper. Stories, magazine stories, websites that are telling people about certain things. It could be something serious like food problems, or it could be an article about I don't know how to start stamp collecting, or how to become a really good、uh, artist, or something like that. How to, how to get into painting, and it will kind of teach you the basic stuff. But it'll be short. It won't be as long as a book, maybe a few pages long, or something like that. And it gives you a lot of important, useful information about certain different topics. Here's an example. There is a great article. Article here about Dua Lipa.、Hmm. So this would be in an entertainment magazine or a music website or something like that.
。那首先，我们必须要了解到这些有关于饥饿或是食物的问题跟议题。Issue 这个名词指的是议题或是问题。If something is an issue, it means that it's a problem that people think about or talk about. So, for example, environmental issues, 环保的议题，环境的议题，或者是 ethical issues， 跟人道啊，或者是种族有关的议题。Article 这个名词指的是文章或是报道。This thing that we are all reading together now is a magazine article. 那通常指的是出现在报章杂志上的一篇文字。但是在网络上阅读的呢，我们也可以说它是一篇 article. All right. Next, we can talk about what we can do once we've learned about the problem. What can we do to get in action to try to actually fix something or change things for the better? It says donate or volunteer. Yes, absolutely. Give away stuff if you have extra stuff. It could be extra money to a local food bank or charity, or it could be、uh, money that you give to an organization to help people in the other side of the world. But give what you have, anything extra you, that you have, give it away to help. Help other people. That's a good idea. Or if you don't have extra to give, or you just want to do more, volunteer. Give away your time and your energy. Do something on the weekend to help out people. You know, make posters and and educate people in your community about this issue. But basically, give up your time and your energy, not as a job, but just because you want to help. That's what it is to volunteer. Many people, it says, struggle to pay for food. If you struggle to do something, it's really difficult for you to do something. You might. Might be successful, but it's not easy. So many people have a tough time paying for food if they don't have enough money. If they have a lot of people in their family, and if food is very expensive where they live, it can be really hard to pay for food, especially healthy food. Donating to a food bank or volunteering at a local soup kitchen are ways to help as many people as possible. So this is kind of the idea of、um, think globally, think around the world about the problem, but try to. Act locally, so you can't go to you know all the countries where people can't get food and fix all the problems. But you can start、uh, in a very real way in your own town, in your own city, in your own neighborhood. So you can volunteer in lots of places to help as many people as possible. Help as many as you can. Let's have a look at our language and focus for today. 好，今天我们的 language and focus as many as possible. 这边的主词加动词加 as many 或是 much 加一个名词 as， 指的就是想要达到某种数量或者是程度的成果。那在这边课文看到的 help as many people as possible， 意思就是希望可以帮助到越多人越好。那另外我们也可以说 I hope I can finish my homework as much as possible。那我希望可以把我的作业完成的越多越好。所以说，如果前面是一个不可数名词，我们就要用 as much as。那如果是可数名词，像是课文这边。The people, we will use as many as something. Okay, and we have this word to struggle, which we kind of mentioned before. It basically means to fight. So, in a real way, you could say, you know, the man struggled with the thief who was trying to steal his bike. One guy's pulling it, the other guy's pulling it back. Hey, give that to me! No, let me have it. So they're fighting in a real way, you know, in a physical way. But it can also mean just to fight problems in your life.、Uh, if you're the kind of person who finds it really hard to wake up in the morning and you need to set three alarms, I might say to you, "Why you're always late." Oh, I struggle to get out of bed. It's just really hard for me. You might be successful, but it's something that could be easy. But for you, for some special reason, it's really difficult. It's a huge challenge. You always find it something hard to be successful at. That is another kind of struggle.、Um, here's a very kind of real one. Delvin struggled to climb up the stairs with two heavy suitcases. He certainly wasn't running up the stairs. He was probably taking each step one at a time and. Oh, lifting the suitcases above takes him, you know, ten minutes to go up ten steps or something like that. It's a real difficult thing he's trying to do. 那再来呢？我们可以尽一份心力，捐款、捐赠，或者是自愿当志工。Struggle 这个动词指的是挣扎或者是努力。If you struggle, you're having a hard time doing something. For example, learning a foreign language can be hard. Sometimes we have to struggle. It's hard to speak fluently or to reach a certain accuracy. 那另外，我们看到 donate 这个动词指的是捐赠或者是捐献，那它的名词就会是 donation。那 volunteer 这个动词呢，指的是自愿或者是无偿做，也就是去当志工。那如果你是个志工，名词就会是 volunteering， 或者是 you you are a volunteer。
All right. Now, if you really want to expand your knowledge of food issues, here's another great idea. This would also just be good education because I think a lot of people don't really know about this.、Mm. It says visit farms or local food producers. If you're like me, you go, "Where do you get food from the supermarket?"、Mm -hmm. But that's not where you get food from. That's where you buy food、ah, from. Food comes from、mean. farms. It comes、mm -hmm. from farms in your town or outside your town, from your country, from other parts of the world. So really learn. Learn about food and the food production chain. How food actually gets grown, how it gets moved from the farms to the cities where the people live, all that kind of stuff. And you can learn that by actually talking to farmers and people who are in the food business, local food producers. A producer is someone who makes something, often in a big scale,、uh, in order to sell and make money and do as a business. Okay, so we, when we think of factories, when we think of big companies, when we Think of the way we get things in our lives, from where it's made to where we buy it. That is the food, the producers of those things, and you know many companies that you know. If I say、uh, Nike, you would say, "Oh, they're producers of sports shoes and sports clothing." If I say、uh, Mercedes Benz, oh, they're producers of cars and things like that. So someone who makes something, usually on a big scale, in large amounts, in order to run a business to make money. Here's an example: China is the world's main. Producer of steel, so most of the steel that is made in the world that is sold,、uh, used in China, and sold and used around the world, most of it comes from China right now. 那再来第三件我们可以做的事情就是去拜访农场，或者是去看当地的植物制造商。那 producer 是个名词，指的是生产者或者是制造商。If you're a food producer, you provide people with food. You make food products. 那我们最常看到 producer 这个字啊，会是出现在音乐或者是电影相关的语境。So for example, a movie producer， 他是一个电影制作人，或者是 a record producer， 或是一个唱片制作人。Okay, so yeah, visiting a farm or local market can be an educational experience, and talking to the people who work on those farms and those markets. I mean, we all go to markets and buy stuff, but how often do you talk to the people who actually run those places to learn how they do that? You can learn how food gets from farm to fork, or from farms where it's grown to fork. That's your table where you use the fork. You could also say from farm to chopsticks,、uh, and see how much effort goes into. Making food. So, how does food get from the farm to your dinner table when you're actually eating it? You'll be surprised at how much effort, how much hard work, and complicated things have to be fixed and solved, and、uh, and you know problems have to be taken care of to get that food, to make that food, to have that food on your table. If you learn a lot about something, and you'll learn a lot about food production, if you do this, you could say it's very educational. It's about education. It's about learning. It's about expanding and growing your Knowledge about things in the world. For example, I think this educational material is too difficult for seven-year-olds. They don't need to learn about quantum physics. <laughs> OK， 那 educational 这个形容词指的是和教育相关的，或者是有教育意义的。Something educational would be something related to education, or it teaches you something that you didn't know before. So, for example, our article, our magazine is educational. Although I'm teaching it, sometimes I still get amazed by how informative and interesting it is. Absolutely, it's amazing what you can learn about all sorts of things in life as long as you're paying attention and keep your brain turned on. Goes into something 指的是投入某件事情。那在这边课文告诉我们，深入当地市场或是农场可能会是一个具教育意义的体验。而且呢，也我们也可以更加了解农场的运作是怎么从农场里的东西变到我们餐桌上所看到的食物。而这当中是需要投入很多心力以及努力的。All right, and to increase your knowledge about food issues, remember we're talking about World Food Day, October sixteenth. So check out what's going on. It says attend World Food Day events. Try to find out what is going on for on October sixteenth in your town, in your city, in your area, and try to go or attend those events. Increase your knowledge by actually going to them. It says look for local events such as exhibitions or hunger marches. Joining these events shows you care. 
care about food issues. And you can bring friends, you can organize people, and you will all learn more and help out in a small way. But if enough people do small little things, big changes and big positive things can happen. An exhibition is a big public show of objects. So we can kind of think of it a museum as an exhibition of certain different things. Often exhibitions, though, unlike museums, are temporary. They're not there all the time. It might come to your town for a few weeks. You can go and see some cool stuff. And then next month, there'll be an exhibition about something totally different. Art galleries, museums, and other places will have exhibitions. And often you can find out about them through the web or through uh, looking at posters and advertising as you go about your day. It says there will be a cool comic book exhibition downtown next weekend. Do you want to go? If you're a fan of comic books or just want to know about them, that would be a must-attend event. And we also had there a, a march, go to a hunger march as a kind of, uh, as another activity to do during World Food Day. A march is kind of a public protest when the people in, in society, in a country, in a community are unhappy about something, they might just grumble about it at home. I don't like this. I'm not, I don't, I'm not happy about that. They could write about it on the internet or they can get really public and get out there and protest in the streets, wave their signs, chant their chants. We don't like this. We want change, that kind of thing. And if you march down the street, that means basically you have a large group of people, hundreds or thousands of people, and they're walking down the street with their signs, with their chants, making noise, getting attention. The, uh, the news, uh, the news companies, uh, you know, news TV stations will be out there filming them, talking to them, interviewing them, getting their information out there. It's a way to make the government or make people in power know that, Hey, we don't like this. And look how many of us there are we're out here in our thousands, so you need to listen up, you need to pay attention, or we're going to be really unhappy. There will be a march against nuclear weapons on Saturday, so many roads downtown will be closed. Yeah, they're expecting thousands of people to go to that march because lots of people think nuclear weapons are a bad idea. 那最后一件我们可以做的事情就是去参加和世界粮食日相关的活动。Exhibition 这个名词指的是展览。An exhibition is a show mostly about art pieces or objects that people can go see. 所以展览通常会是可以供大众观赏的，可能是和艺术相关的作品，也可能是和历史相关的。所以在这里课文说，我们可以去找我们自己当地举办的世界粮食日有关的展览来参加。那另外 ，march 这个动词指的是示威游行。When you march, you go on the streets to protest. 但要注意的是 ，march 指的是示威或者是抗议的游行，而不是开心庆祝的那种。So if it's to celebrate, we call that a parade. Exactly right, and we could also call it a protest if it's just in one place. So your march might then lead to a protest when they all finish in one place and they listen to speeches, and that's all part of the activity. It says by trying these activities, you can be a part of the solution. That's exactly right, and as I said, if thousands and millions of people around the world take part, then really, so, then real solutions can often be much easier to reach. After all, every small action brings us closer to a world without hunger. Now, after all, 毕竟指的就是说，最后课文告诉我们的这个借由参加以上的活动，我们也可以真正出一份心力去解决这个粮食的问题。毕竟小小的善举都可以让这个世界更接近没有饥饿的日子。Okay, so before we wrap up, we have our chat question here. Have you ever attended a local a local event related to food and hunger? What was it like, and how did it make you feel? If not, would you like to attend one in the future?、Mm, I've never, but I know this thirty-hour famine. Thirty-hour famine,、mm. yes. Where you I, where you don't eat for thirty yeah, hours? Yeah, I, I think it's related to to the hunger thing.、Mm -hmm. right? so、I, I've always wanted to try, but I I haven't had the chance. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely do that. And also, if as we said, if there are any marches、mm -hmm. or events in your community, you can join in because it is something that we often don't think about, especially when we're lucky enough to be from a country like Taiwan, where there's、mm -hmm. lots of food. But it is very important to remember that there are thousands or even millions of people around the world who are not as lucky. And we, we we should all work together to help them out. Thanks、exactly. for joining us, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you back here soon. 那喜欢今天的主题，你还可以到空中家教和真人老师互动练习哟。Bye bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. 
Article. I read an interesting article about dogs in the local newspaper yesterday. It had many pictures of cute puppies. Struggle. Helen wasn't listening in class, so she struggled to complete her homework that night. Producer. The factory near our town is a producer of cars. They make hundreds of new ones every day. Educational. Educational. Ian's mother is happy that he watches TV shows about science because she thinks they're educational. Exhibition. Jenny was invited to an exhibition where the works of many local artists were being shown. March. The workers organized a march at the factory, asking for better pay and safer working conditions for everyone. 智慧小蝴蝶 Issue. Donate. Donate. Volunteer.